Hi, it's Larry here of Xbox Live's Major Nelson here with Albert Pinello from the Xbox product team. Albert, great to see you. How are you, my friend? I'm doing great. Awesome stuff coming out of Gamescom in Germany, especially a brand new feature coming to Xbox One owners. Let's talk about that. Yes, yes. We announced um, probably one of the most requested features we've seen on the user feedback site, and something yeah. I know that both you and I uh, get a lot of feedback directly on from fans, which is our local media player. Uh, not only that supports uh, local files off of your uh, USB 2.0 or USB 3.0 thumbsticks or hard drives, but also supports network media players um, through DLNA. Albert, for those that may not know what DLNA is, can you explain that? Sure. Uh, DLNA is basically a protocol that allows um, video, photos, um, and music to be streamed off of network devices and consumed on other devices. Basically, there's a lot of people that have home servers mm -hmm. where their photos, their movies, their, um, their music is stored centrally and then streamed out to different devices in their home. And now Xbox One will be a DLNA client. We talked about it briefly on stage, but let's talk about some of the formats that the media player will support. Uh, we basically support all of the, the standard codecs that you would come to expect um, for images, for audio, MP3s and WMAs, for video, H.264, MPEG, um, WMVs. But we've also added a bunch of new enthusiast codecs, um, things like WMA Lossless, uh, AVI DivX, and XVID, as well as MKVs. Wow, that's a lot. I mean, I, if memory serves correctly, that's actually more than the Xbox 360. Yeah, we support a lot more uh, codecs um, on this version of Media Player than we did before. Um, we should have the full list, way more than I can remember, and we should have the full list um, available online. Yeah, and also make sure I post it on the blog. Of course. Albert, when can we get the Media Player for Xbox One? Coming this fall. Thank you very much. Thank you.